happened to me. Got mixed up in some shady business on Gorgon. Should have known better. But I landed on something big. And now this job's an itch I can't stop scratching. There's a whole research compound left to the Sprats. I think I'm close to figuring out why. But something dangerous is closer to me. Got the job through one mini Ambrose. Top runger who just came into some money was offering a hefty bit card for qualified help. Trust me, her money's good. Talk to Minnie. Take the job. If I ain't gonna live to see the payday, might as well be you. Consider us even, old pal. Well, that fellow certainly seemed trustworthy. I've gotten jobs from some unusual sources, but this is a first. Congratulations, Captain. I don't mean to sound prim, Captain, but there's gotta be a better way to ask someone to do you a favor. I just wanna say, we gotta take this job. This is the closest I ever been to starring in a serial drama. Only thing we're missing is a couple cameras and a soundtrack. At least this won't be boring. Lucky Montoya owed Captain Hawthorne a considerable debt. I believe this is what humans refer to as payback. Captain? The message contains landing coordinates for a small asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. It was recently registered to a Wilhelmina Andros. Now, I for one was hoping to do the exact opposite of that. What? Do you want to shake its hand? Yeah, can we talk about the arm? I want to take bets on how the guy lost it. My money's on cannibals. That ain't really that fella's arm, right? It's gotta be a dummy. Or a toy? Well, I'm not cleaning it up. Clean up service request processed. Disposal of human arm from the unreliable's cargo hold will commence in the immediate future. Simulating disgust. How distasteful. Humans eat there. I'm not touching it. Etc. Lucky Montoya had a statistically significant tendency to encounter situations of extreme danger. Oh, really? I thought he lost his arm gambling. He was also the fourth best paid freelancer in the system. There are several hundred freelancers operating in Halcyon. Considering the numbers, Mr. Montoya ranked among the top percentile. This had less correlation with his measured aptitudes, which rank at or below average, than with a pattern of fortunate circumstances. Luck does not exist, Captain. Nevertheless, I am programmed to agree with your assessment. I have transferred the coordinates for Andros Manor to your navigation terminal. We can travel there when you are ready. Okay! <coughs> Hawthorne, if you're getting this, something's happened to me. Got mixed up in some shady business on Gorgon. Should have known better. But I landed on something big. And now this job's an itch I can't stop scratching. There's a whole research compound left to the Sprats. I think I'm close to figuring out why. But something dangerous is closer to me. Got the job through one mini Ambrose. Top runger who just came into some money was offering a hefty bit card for qualified help. Trust me, her money's good. Talk to Minnie. Take the job. If I ain't gonna live to see the payday, might as well be you. Consider us even, old pal. Well, nice. Before I do that, though. I find it weird that they would give you this one before this one when this one requires a higher level than this one. But whatever, I'm at the level to do this one, so we'll do it in a minute. But first, I want to take on this bitch. If there's monsters involved, probably should do that and... Yeah.
I'm in Byzantium. And my target is all the way over there. Yeah, why not? Fuck Space Destroys. <laughs> ah! Still can't repair the world's be world's greatest gun. Alright, what else I gotta get rid of? Oh, I have an extra axe. It's a good axe. Eh, no, fuck, that's not a good axe. Okay, well. We're not going to use this gun then. The law's really looking out for me. The law's really looking out for me. Can you believe I'm retiring? Lucky me! The law's really looking up for me. So what if all those MSI suits made it on Monarch this whole time? I could do it. Easy. Yep, not a good enough lockpick yet. How the fuck do I get out? Oh, that's how I get out. Yep, number go down. If number go down, I am in the right direction. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Want to be famous? So much wasted money. <laughs> Decadence ain't gonna save you when the beasts get through the walls. Get the Sam unit. Tense yells at me about vagrants one more time. I'm gonna snap. Why do you think there's been a boy? Citizens, today marks a monumentous occasion in the course of Halcyon history. After a deep and thorough examination of our budgets, revenue streams, and predictive models, we are publishing our year. Hey, 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 stand back. 
you. I'm part of Minister Clark's personal detail, and that means you gotta keep five feet back at all times. Of course not. <laughs> but I'm not on the job right now. The others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all. Oh, um, he's, uh, medium height with, like, medium colored hair and, like, a kind of a medium face. She's, like, in his posters. Oh, you definitely recognize him if you saw him. He's very important. He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard in the colony. <laughs> yeah. That means I got a key to the minister's estate, my own personal UDL assist issued shotgun. <laughs> They don't give those out to just anyone. That's right. Not just anyone is allowed to have a key to Minister Clark's residence. It's all so very high level. That's a great idea out of a Spectrum Vodka. Here's to me. <laughs> hey, you're really great. Have I told you that? We should be friends. <laughs> wow, listen to me. I'm soaked. <laughs> I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I could, I could have another. You got another? It's not every day you get your dream job, right? Wow! You've got, like, this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? You're like a, like a manosaur. You got a manosaur energy. <laughs> oh, laws. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. Only two? You got a ways to go. Have you always been here? I didn't see you a minute ago. I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. Persuade. That's a problem for tomorrow. Uh, with your BMI and your meta <laughs> and your metabolism, another. Just drink plenty of water. You sure sound like you know what you're talking about. Okay, here goes. Hey, Gaster. Yeah. Was that one supposed to taste like purple berry crunch? Or am I just tasting breakfast? I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to be sick. Please allow me to improve your drinking experience with fine cocktails and pre-approved banter. Request confirmed. Banter protocol activated. Welcome, attractive patron, to Billingsley's House of Inebriation. Studies have shown that drinking in the vicinity of extremely valuable objects such as this auto-mechanical bartender, can enhance the quality of your intoxication. Let's go do some shit for Starlight and move on our way.
Ah. This is where those who fancy themselves the best and brightest of our society live. Trespassing here is a true honor. took apart and sold this place that we get a year of food out of it all right my worst suspicions are confirmed. HRS 104 was ransacked. Who knows what became of the suspension of the suspension tanks? My team. As usual, my handlers on the board are no help. Until I deliver results, they can replicate, package, and disperse to the general population. Their desire only they desire only silence and obedience from the likes of me. Circumstance, um, okay, yet another, yet another relocation. Circumstances were hardly optimal at the primary and secondary labs. Political instability pulled Cascadia out from under me, and some combination of cabin fever and paranoia soured HRS 1084. Uh, uh, Perhaps my home is steadfast Byzantium, will offer the retreat I need, though I miss working alongside colleagues, I know that I hardly deserve the ones I so enjoy, the ones I lost. The work continues in isolation and loneliness, perhaps as it should. The first extraterrestrials. Okay. Uh, Catherine was talking about uh, aliens being real, so... Are aliens real? All right. Ever since, uh, so ever since our species became aware of itself, we imposed our superiority on the worlds we touched. Uh, colonialism worked for a time, but our oldest tricks didn't ha uh, work in Halcyon, did it? Now we are the ones who must bow to a force greater than ourselves. We are the ones who must adapt. It really does, Gaster. It really does. There we go. Update. Wine makes me too introspective. Perhaps I'll balance it out with vodka. The fuck? Steal. What else? Oh yeah, what else am I going to steal? Money. Oh, here we go. There we go. Number go down over here. So that means it's going to open over. After Cascadia in 1084, I was expecting this. Chartrand has a thing for sticking lab coats in tubes, doesn't she? That's far enough. What are you doing here? How did you even get inside? Lila Hagen sent me to kill you. I'm the one asking the questions. Your alien mind tricks won't fool me. You're in my house, and I'm not fucking around. Start talking. My what conspiracy? 
let's talk about this. Please, I think there's been a crucial misunderstanding. If you came looking for some elaborate scheme, it isn't here. All I'm doing is trying to keep Halcyon alive. What are you doing, Doctor? This information is beyond classified. You can write me up in your report. It hardly matters. I'm researching a new way to feed the colony. The crops we transplanted from Earth don't give us the nutrients we need. Our colonists might not realize it yet, but they're starving. The food we grow here barely sustains human life. The colony won't last under these conditions. So, the board let me approach the problem from a different angle. I believed that I could adapt humans to live on Halcyon's terms. That I could change us. Give us the ability to derive sustenance from the nutrients the food does have. Look around. We're the only intelligent aliens in Halcyon. I know. I was there. Thomas was the first to take the gas. A simple test, he said. I told him not to, but he insisted. We learned a lot from his autopsy. Enough that we could try it on each other and know when to stop. No one else died. I must find a cure so his sacrifice isn't in vain. I wouldn't allow us to experiment on convicts or the unemployed. It's wrong, no matter what the law says. Everyone agreed. We accepted the risks. I'm desperate. I've already asked all the best institutes on Earth for help. Years ago, we sent a message out on the Cornelius Vanderbilt, but heard nothing back. Once we can replicate a success, the board will move to rewire our nucleon. With any luck, our next generation will be eating and thriving off Halcyon crops. Fuck that. People are people, and ought to stay the way they were born. They start trying to tinker with my blood, I'll bury them. We haven't made enough strides to advance the plan. Hardly any at all. But we have to keep trying. One of the two Earth Directorate assault cruisers, assigned to patrol the Halcyon system. It's been missing for over two years now. They never re-established contact after the skip to Earth. Of course, the board is keeping that under wraps. I can certainly understand why. That ain't a shock. Board folks will lie to their own mothers if it preserves their paychecks. The board is uneasy about letting the colony know, seeing as half of their military force vanished without a trace. Exactly. If colonists know we can't feed them or protect them, they'll begin to wonder why they need us at all. You could always shoot me. I assume that's why you're here. If I die, there's no one who can reproduce our work. Every sacrifice will have been for nothing. And we'll be no closer to a solution that feeds the colony. may not be pretty, but we risk the colony's downfall if we hinder the doctor's research. I hope you know what you're doing, Captain. I leave it in your hands. I... Look, cold-blooded murder ain't easy on my spirits. But this... All this research, all these experiments... It's wrong. It's all void damn wrong. Everything I did was for the good of the colony. Consider that. 
the one on the wanted posters? They say he's an anarchist. A madman, a butcher. I'll do it. Doctor! What choice do I have, Commander? For the last time, no. I need to get out of here. Phineas can contact me when he's ready to work together. For now, I had better pack up the lab and head somewhere discreet. Not so fast. Captain, what you just learned is beyond your clearance. Hell, it's beyond mine. Give me one reason why I should let you walk out of here alive. <laughs> Bribe. What if I gave you 369... <laughs> <laughs> what if I gave you 300, 693 reasons? It's less work than hauling, uh, your, my, it's less work than hauling my corpse out of here? That'll do, sucker. <laughs> now move along. The dog has a lot of work ahead of her. Tidying up and such. Okay, well. We didn't kill this woman, but now she works for our boss, as does this, as does this guy. Carry on. So my reputation, but now, my reputation with the board is off-put. Because you are neutral, faction effects, you are neutral to this faction, vendor prices increase. Okay, so... All right. So this is botched. Do I finally get a botched quest? Nope, no botched quests just yet. Okay. Now let's see how the Mafia handles me not killing someone they told me to kill. I believe your choice to spare Chartrand would be considered the honorable path, yes? Sublight's money is inconsequential in the face of ethics. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? See you soon, Captain. There's other planets I haven't been to either. Like there's Typhon and Olympus I have, and Tartarus. I haven't been there yet. Our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Is it done? Well, damn. Contractor grew a conscience. As your employer, I'm both angry and disappointed. I'll add that to your file. Technically, I owe you an exit interview. Care to justify your betrayal of our species? Or are we finished here? Let me see. You misunderstood, um, contra- uh, yeah. Uh, Char uh, Chartrand's research. She's um, she's our best uh, shot at survival for Halcyon. You're awfully quick to trust someone who offed her colleagues and called it a good start. Out of my office. We're done. This is why I always ask for half my payment up front. The thanks we get for showing a little integrity. Time for you to move along. You keep lingering like this, I'm bound to get nervous. I said, get out.
Well, I'm still friendly with them, but I ain't going any farther than that. <laughs> No, oh, wait, Felix, while we're here. Okay, we'll do Felix's thing, then we'll quit. There he is. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement. Oh, her, I guess. You mind trying to have a moment here? Yeah, I was called that once upon a day. You need something? Rufus and I are no longer on speaking terms. I don't know where he is, and if I did, I wouldn't tell you. That's Harlow's mark, no mistake. Guess he's not letting this one go. I don't want any manner of harm befalling Rufus. Not on my account. Yeah, well, you got reason to mistrust Harlow. He's a surly git, but he's devious. Rufus is hiding out in Emerald Vale. Got a few friends with him. That's as much as I know. Please, just make it quick. That's right. Our marriage contract expired some months ago. And seeing how he's technically an outlaw, I wouldn't renew even if I wanted to. Precious little. He and Rufus worked together on the Groundbreaker some years back before he vanished. A few years later, Rufus gets a message from an old friend. Something about starting a revolution. Something about getting rich. Abandoned his work and ran off that very day. So, Clyde sent Trask the same message he sent me. What's the problem? Word of advice, kid? Anybody carrying on about a revolution just wants to sell you something. I don't know Harlow. Never so much as bandied a word with the fellow. You're better off having this discussion with Rufus. Only that Rufus is in a bad way. He came to see me a little ways back. Said he had to go into hiding. Never asked why. He was here to collect his personals, complain about Harlow to me, and say goodbye. In that order. No, and he was particular about that. Said I was better off not getting entangled in his mess. A little late for that, says I. Appreciate it. No offense meant, just been a long day is all. Thank you all for watching to the end of this video. If you enjoyed Cosmic Rejects, you might also enjoy Zeke Rambles. That's right, Zeke underscore Rambles. Z-E-K-E -E, Rambles. Zeke Rambles is my review channel. It's where I give my opinions and just show off things I like. Right now we are doing a full series review of Ultraman Arc, as well as delving into the new toy sensation that are Beast Boxes, because, hey, little animals that turn into boxes, who wouldn't love that? And if all that sounds good, I also have a Twitch channel. That's right, we have Zeke Cosmic Rejects, Z-E-K-E, -E, Cosmic as in stars in space, Rejects, like you've been kicked out of a institution, all one word, on Twitch. Right now, we are checking out the classic 1996 arena shooter, Quake. I have saw it a whole bunch when I was about five years old, and now I'm finally playing it for the first time. Um, come see me fail at 
what is possibly the grandfather of the modern first person shooter. If you like what you see here, uh, please check out this channel and give it a shot.